We uh, moved to Toronto from Kingston, Jamaica when I was three years old. Back in those days, if you wanted to have friends, you had to play hockey because that's what all the kids were doing. So when I was five, my mom bought me a stick and I started playing street hockey and just fell in love with the game. I started playing pond hockey with my friends and I was 10 years old. One of my best friends, his name is Donnie, convinced me to play on a team. So I tried out, not really knowing if I was gonna be good enough. I, I made the team. And so yeah, I, I fell in love with ice hockey then after that started and I just never looked back. The reason I chose Rensselaer is because of Paul Vincent. Mr. Vincent encouraged me to keep in touch with him throughout the year. So as a sophomore, when I got switched to defense, I had no clue how to play the position. So I'd, I'd call Mr. Vincent every Sunday. He got me through that season. He would guide me through my last three years of college hockey. My son, when he was six years old, started playing hockey. And I'd happened to run a practice one day out of necessity. And one of the parents saw what I was doing and was, I guess, impressed with the practice that I was running and really encouraged me to start a hockey school. So what we do is a little bit different than what other hockey schools do, I think. I would teach kids in the summer and I would keep in touch with them throughout the season just to make sure they were following up on all the things that we talked about during the summer. And then suddenly my staff started doing it. And I really think that that's what made our students so much better. And now we're starting to attract AAA type players because you know the idea is if you could take a AA player and make them that much better, what can a AAA player do if they get the same sort of coaching? There's a very long pre-camp training program that we insist that the kids do because what we do is we test them when they show up to camp on Sunday. And then throughout the week, it's four hours a day of on ice and about four hours a day of off ice, which again is grueling. The off ice program is very challenging. I would say about a third of the kids sometimes can't make it through the off ice program. But that's what I think is, is one of the most challenging parts is that a kid comes in, sees what we ask them to do. They think, oh my God, this is impossible. And then those who stick around and come back year after year, they start to see themselves succeed and then I get to see those eureka moments and it just brings so much satisfaction to me and my staff. Character, leadership, being a good teammate, we teach those qualities and if those are the qualities you want for your child then that's what, that's what we do and the, the rest takes care of itself.